class, this is Miss Champagne, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve an expression with no equal sign versus an equation with equal sign. I excel lesson 7-R.15. Okay, so when you see what looks like an equation, an equation means that there's an equal sign. So this looks like an equation, but it's not. This is an expression because it has no equal sign. That means the answer, which means the answer will also have no no equal sign. And I noticed that some of you um, on the practice test, when you solve this, you put an equal sign in it. So we know that when we see parentheses, parentheses means to multiply. Multiply. So that means that I'm going to multiply this outside number times this first number. So I'm going to have, so what I'll do first is I'll bring negative 7 down twice. I'm going to bring negative 7 here, and I'm also going to bring it here. So I'm going to write negative 7 here, and I'm going to write negative 7 here. And I'm going to put a plus sign in between. So this is always your formula for distributive property. So the outside number, bring it down twice. I'm going to take this inside number, and I'm going to put it next to this first number. And I'm going to take the other inside number, this positive 4, and I'm going to put it right next to this number. In between these two numbers is an imaginary multiplication sign. So we're going to multiply here. In between this negative 7 and this 4 is an imaginary multiplication sign. So we have two negatives, a negative times a negative. Remember, in order to multiply a negative times a negative, you would use our peace sign, where we have a plus sign and two minuses. So this negative, <clears throat> I'm going to cover it up. The other negative, I'm also going to cover it up. So that leaves me with an answer of positive. So negative times negative equals a positive answer. So I'm going to have a positive 7v. I'm going to bring down the plus sign, and I have a negative times a positive. So I'm going to cover up the negative here and the positive here, and that yields a negative answer. So a negative times a positive leaves me with a negative answer. So this is going to be negative. 7 times 4. Uh, 7 times 1, 7 times 2, 7 times 3, and 7 times 4. That's 7. And you can just draw 7 little lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So 7 times 4 is 28. Now when you put in the answer, you can't have both a positive and a negative. In the answer, you're going to take the sign that's closest to the number. So we don't have to put a positive 7. So no sign in front means that there's an imaginary positive here. We're going to take the sign that's closest to 28. So 7v minus 28 is going to be the answer. Remember, do not place an equal sign because when we started the problem out, there was no equal sign. 
So the answer also has no equal sign.